Hi guys, this is Sydney. Um, in this video today, I would like to share with you the energy that I tapped into today in relation to Saturn in Pisces placement that we are currently in that will last until the year 2026. And what it means, how you can utilize this energy for your healing journey, that is for your ascension. So we are now in this 20 year window period until 2032 where we are given these opportunities to release our karmic energies in order to ascend meaning raise our frequencies that will be in match to the raising of its frequency of mother gaia and not everyone will be on that ascension path it all depends on the work that you do until 2032 at least and so what we are doing is we're doing a lot of emotional healing at this time and when we look at the collective energy and the energy of the universe that is supporting the earth right now a lot of the astrological transits are to support our healing on an emotional level so we could clear old karma and we are closing out a huge karmic cycle right now because we have two super moons coming in August. That is very rare. And so this um, energy that opened up yesterday, no, I, 20th, 27th, no, 28th, uh, the Lionsgate portal is very big and we had a galactic new year on the 26th of July and I actually recorded um, the sound of the waves, uh, the ocean waves on the 27th during sunset. So, you know, in between um, this galactic new year and the lion's gate portal. So um, I recorded it and i made a real video and posted on instagram so you could tune into the sound the specific sound that is connected to the energy in that specific point in time on that day it holds a lot of energy uh, releasing and it's during sunset so you could utilize that energy to release any emotions that are no longer serving you that you wish to let go of basically all your past energies and so what we are doing right now at this time is first uh, we want to go back to Saturn in Pisces is that Saturn represents structure order and it's all about the lessons that we are learning and so everyone has unique Saturn placements in their astrological natal chart and it represents the unique lessons the soul meaning you chose to go through in order to clear certain karma and basically what we are trying to achieve through that is learning about accountability because a lot of the karmic energies are about victim consciousness right i'm a victim so someone has to save me and i'm holding grudges resentment against someone else because they've been given uh giving me injustice or um i see them as they have done me wrong and given me a lot of mistreatments so what we are doing is we are actually asking them to release me from these emotions but actually we have to learn to realize that we could release these emotions ourselves is that we own these emotions and all our experiences are based on our own choices that created certain outcomes therefore it is mine right so that is where the ownership comes in that is where we are learning about accountability and realizing that what i created and experiencing right now at this moment is an exact um you know the cause and effect so consequences of all my choices that i made on a mental emotional uh, physical spiritual level 
And so that's what we are going through. And when the Saturn is in Pisces, Pisces is a water element. So water represents the feelings, the emotions. Emotions meaning energy in motion, meaning your vibration, your frequency. So what we are doing is, is allowing us to really go in deep into our emotions and feel these emotions. And it's allowing us to flow with these emotions. And usually these emotions that we're feeling is very heavy because we need to what? Drop our emotional baggage, release these heavy emotions in order to raise our frequency, meaning ascend. And so that's what is happening right now. And that's what is supporting us at this time so that we are being asked to review a lot of our emotional patterns, a lot of emotional toxic patterns, unhealthy patterns, perhaps, you know, some addictive patterns that you've been playing out because you wanted to survive and also because you needed to survive. And we are being called in a way to look into these emotional patterns and feel all these emotions as they come up that could be very uncomfortable, heavy, or um, confusing at times, and very stagnant. And by feeling these emotions, we are going to have some sort of insight and then we could restructure, meaning repattern our emotional um, interaction. So the way we interact with other people, the way we interact with ourselves, we can all repattern these things. And so that is what we are doing until 2026. And this is all, you know, with releasing the karmic energy and it's going to be pretty intense. And there's a purpose to that because we are moving into different frequency, meaning the earth is moving to a different frequency. And so to be in uh, the same line as the earth moving in its own ascension pace, you need to do the work basically and so um, one thing that you can do at this time is you can learn to work with water use water especially when it comes to healing your emotions so you could take regular showers and when you're in the shower you can imagine or visualize water coming down and bright white light and cleansing up all your auras and when you do that it really works it cleanses your aura because the water has the purifying element so it instantly you don't need to um, wash with soap and do all this you know cleaning but just by being under clean water it's going to help you clear up your head especially if you are uh, usually too much thinking um, in your head or living inside your mind a lot or right now what I'm experiencing it depends on an individual is a lot of activation with crown chakra and the altar major chakra at the back of my neck here it's because we are getting a lot of new light codes uh, for us to integrate so you could feel a lot of tension or the pressure in the head or you could experience some headache or a lot of fatigue in this area here or just your entire body because also with Saturn in Pisces energies what it's teaching us is learning to trust basically so what that means is um, learning to trust is related to learning to surrender meaning surrender to the divine so a lot of people are called to um, focus more on the spiritual self or the spiritual knowledge at this time until 2026 because, rather than financial or material things that we used to live in before because 
we are not only raising our frequency, but at the same time, what we are doing right now is that we are moving into a new age where it's going to be about our spiritual essence, who we really are. So it's best that you want to learn to trust and surrender and develop this relationship with the divine or the universe or the bigger force at large that is helping you so you can learn to co-create with the universe in the age of Aquarius, meaning the new golden age. And so what we are doing right now is trusting and then releasing. And so we could surrender, meaning trusting the divine timing, trusting the divine guidance that everything that you need and everything that is meant for you will come in exact right timing and you are exactly where you need to be and we constantly want to remind ourselves of this because we could get so caught up in controlling the future and when we go there what we are doing right now usually is going to the past and creating fear because of certain mistakes that you made or certain pain points that you experienced because of this coming up to the surface we could get stuck in this energy of the past or the future but once again time is an illusion so what we are called to do is you want to use your energy best to stay content in this present moment and that's where the surrender comes in. And Bruce Lee said, be like water, my friend, right? If you put water into a teapot, it becomes a teapot. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup and water can flow and it can also crash. So I was out in the ocean today, just getting myself into the water, just to release some of the things and purify and connect with the water energy. And the waves are very big today because of the wind. And when I got in, I was trying to get in and the big wave came in and I just hit the wave. That is the resistance. And I felt pain because, you know, I was hitting the waves. It caused a physical barrier. And, you know, later I was just flowing with the wave. So when the wave came, I would jump in and then just ride along the wave. And it became a lot more fun just riding the wave, riding the wave, jumping up and down, jumping up and down. So. That's what we are called to learn to do right now because we don't want to control the waves coming in or judge this wave is huge and get scared and trying to fight with this wave and it could crash. And so this water element is very malleable, right? It's flowy, but it has a very strong power to penetrate into anything it could crash. So at this time, we are learning to flow in this moment of now by trusting. Trusting what is. Trusting this emotion that is coming up without judging. And allowing this emotion to flow within me and through me accepting what is right now and so that is part of trusting and part of surrendering and when you do that you are in this moment fully and as you do so as you remember that we are accepting what is you are no longer in resistance therefore you are at peace in harmony. So the drama is basically created when we are not accepting what is right now, what is happening. It is all happening right now. And I, as I align myself to this moment now, my past is being transformed. My future is being transformed. 
because these are illusions it is all simultaneously happening and so when we are aligned like that i'm at peace i'm in contentment and that's how we learn or prepare ourselves to live in that frequency in the new golden age which is going to be based on peace harmony joy daily contentment and we are being trained or we are getting prepared and we are getting a lot of opportunities for us to train ourselves up until 2032 so anything that you may viewing as challenging emotions difficult times why is this happening i don't like this you now by understanding the bigger purpose behind all of this journey you want to release all those judgments and thoughts and start to train yourself and be grateful for all these opportunities because one of the greatest and quickest activation that you can raise your vibration is through gratitude gratitude it puts you right into this present moment you are not seeing you're now seeing what is happening right now and focusing on what is happening right now with gratitude and that's where our mind is focused on and that's how we manifest this present moment reality so when we say manifestation we are being conditioned to tie that to a lot of the material abundance like financial advancement like money right now but we want to expand that idea even further because money is just part of the energy and we want to get out of this limiting mindset which i mentioned in my previous video as well and so when we get outside of this mindset, you are constantly manifesting your current reality, which means you can instantly shift your reality from this to this. And we often underestimate this power because of this limiting ideas that we have in our mind that is tied only to the idea of money financial gains, material advancement, which could become very important to a certain degree and it could provide some sort of security for, I, for our um, sense of security and you know emotional stability. But it's, I'm just saying that it's not all of it. So I'm just introducing you to this concept to go bigger, to go or expand your ideas of what is right now because that is what is holding us back in this moment and preventing us from flowing with this 5d new reality because it is creating a lot of resistance meaning we hold a lot of judgments and when we have a lot of judgment what happens is we start to want to know the answers, meaning we want to control the outcome, meaning the future, how it's going to play out, when it's going to happen, um, you know, what's going to come. These are all taking away of our precious energy to manifest the best in this present moment. And as we do so, we get caught up and then we start to jump back to the past because it's creating a lot of fear energy because we are focused on lack. And when there is lack, we go back to all the experiences that we had uh, in pain and we start to dwell on these pains or get afraid that it might happen again. So it demeans our ability to trust or confide in our abilities to create something different or new that is better for ourselves. And so right now, um, I want you to breathe in deep and breathe out 
deep and slowly, constantly release through your breath. That's going to help you. And I'm going to end the session with some clearing right now because there may be a lot of heavy emotional energies. But I want you to stay relaxed and get a lot of rest if you feel fatigued or tired often because we are receiving a lot of light codes right now. And when we are more relaxed, we can receive these light codes better and it's going to go into our cells and work with all this past karmic energies because when we say we are releasing karma i'm not talking about just this lifetime it's always related to all the past lifetimes that we are clearing right now at once so that is how big the energy is uh, at the same time you can also benefit so much when you are really working with this energy right now Okay, so I'm going to use selenite today with um, some incense. So I want to, I had this on while I was speaking. Clean up the space. Because there was, there's a lot of interference right now as I was recording the video. Um, I got a little burn while I was... Um, putting a light to my candle and then the TV just uh, made a white, you know, screen just went really white, which never usually happens. So there was a lot of interference. So I had to clear up all this energy because I needed to deliver this message to the collective for those who will resonate with it. So I want you to breathe in deep in and out and allow this energy to clean up your energetic field, your aura. So I'm cleansing your crown chakra, your third eye, your throat chakra, your solar plexus, your sacral, your navel, your root chakra, the entire energy field, your auric field right now. And I was pulled to use pyrite. And I'm going to pull out all the negative energies. Clearing out, pulling out all the negative energies. Surrounding your energy field. So you could align yourself to feel emotions and release without falling back into negative thoughts or emotions. And then I was guided to use this uh, blue agate. So that you could communicate with your emotions, with yourself, with other people. That is healing, that is balanced, that is in truth. So you could face your true emotions with courage and not be afraid so much of what is positive and negative. Stay neutral in balance. And some light heat to clear. Release all these emotions, all the judgments about ideas about certain emotions, ideas about certain people, your own assumptions about situations, own assumptions about people. Allow them to be who they are, honor their journey, 
by honoring your journey, meaning focus on your energy right now, honoring your energy right now. I want you to honor yourself. Honor yourself right now and focus on how far you have come and give yourself the love and kindness right now to yourself. You've done so much. Honor and appreciate yourself right now. Focus on honoring yourself right now. Honor your energy, honor your energy so you could feel stable within your body so that you could feel stable in, motion, in your emotional energy and gain confidence, have confidence within yourself right now. And so you could open up your heart to connect to all kinds of unconditional love that are around you. Connect with oneness right now. Gaia is coming through. Connect with oneness. And I'm channeling the song, The Color of the Wind. The Color of the Wind. Clear up your head, your third eye chakra, your crown chakra. Receive this download. <sighs> Honor yourself. Connect with oneness that is all around you that is providing unconditional love to you right now at this time. I'm sending you my love to you as a soul tribe. Once you receive that you are always loved. Okay. So I'm going to end this video here today. And uh, let me know how this energy felt for you. And let me know what you're going through. So I can have more insights to help you out in the future. If you feel drawn to share of course. So hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.